Friends, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to save your Apple Pages document. Super simple process, let's do it right now. Okay, so you started a new document. You can see this one is untitled, meaning it's brand new. You've just laid out your text and you really wanna save this now to your computer so you can work on it again in the future. Now, this is obviously very, very easy. What we're gonna do is gonna come up here to File, I'm gonna drop down that menu, and as you can see, we've got a save option right here. There is actually a keyboard shortcut, which is just Command S, if you just wanna use that instead of using the menu option. But what we're gonna do is actually just click on this save. Okay, as you can see, we've got a little finder window that opens up. Here's where you're gonna title your document. I'm just gonna put this as test, and then you can actually choose where it's going to go. Based off of these menu items over here, uh, you can also include sub-documents, or as long as you've selected the specific area where you want it to go, you can actually click on New Folder if you wanted to create a whole brand new folder to store this in. As soon as you have your area selected, just go ahead and click the Save button. Now, as you can see, that document showed up on my desktop there right where I saved it so I can access it in the future. Now, here's what's great about Apple Pages. Basically, there's an autosave function, meaning as soon as I'm doing this and adding more text and things, this is automatically going to be saving things. So again, at this point, I haven't clicked the Save button. What I'm gonna do is come up here and I'm actually going to exit out of this document and then we'll open it right back up again. Okay, we've opened it up again, and as you can see, without saving, that text was auto-saved. Now, you can always hit the Command-S keyboard shortcut if you just want to be safe and save it. You can also come up here and click that Save at any point if you just want to be sure something is saved. But again, Apple Pages is set up to auto-save, which is great. If this has helped, would you guys please give the video a thumbs up? Let's us know we're making helpful videos. And you also might want to subscribe because we got a bunch of Apple Pages tutorial videos that we're going to be releasing here right in the near future. Thanks so much for watching.